made this. And today I'm going to teach you how to fold this paper airplane. And although this paper airplane does not look cool at all, it will fly. It's also designed by me. And uh, the only reason I'm, I'm teaching you how to fold this type of plane is because I just want beginners in origami to try to fold to fold this plane because uh, the other plane I, I folded it because the previous video I mean uh, the second previous video on how to fold the F14 Tomcat it looks so cool but it's very hard so I'm just going to give a very easy plane with barely any hard steps and all you need to fold this plane and actually and actually in this video I'm actually going to customize it in the tutorial to make it have a lock so it's gonna have a lock now and I'm not meaning like a tape lock like actually an origami lock so all you need is to, fo to fold it is a sheet of paper and I don't know but you might need tape I don't know because I'm customizing it so um, so first you're going to fold it in half bundleize did I even make it precise did I even make that precise Why, just grease, just grease for me. Now. And then you're going to fold triangles. So this is going to be your fold desires, and you're going to take this edge to the fold edge. Flip it over. Fold the other side to match. sure the triangles on this side are facing you and now you're going to take this edge to the center face and what I do is I just keep it folded in half and now then you don't want these layers to move you should be doing it like this Open it up, fold it down every one inch at the bottom. Now fold it up, and you want to land this corner right here on this corner. And now it's being customized. We're making it shorter to make the lock. And crease. And now you're going to take this edge to the center crease. And I was hoping this was not going to happen. But looks like there's this thing. So, no angle changing wings today because this plane's all about these. This plane's only for big eyes. So no, so no swirl fold. So now, so what you're going to do is, that when you fold it, it won't it won't lie flat. So you're just gonna 
like take both of these guys and fold it. Very simple. And now it's so thick. I'm just gonna round this. I'm rounding it. I'm rounding this so I can, I'm rounding the thick, the thick part so I can really crease it. And now do the same thing on the other side with this edge, put some crease. Crease into the pocket and take both of these layers and then fold it down. And now you can finally fold this, 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 this point to that point. Winglets. This is going to make it winglets. And I might also make a tutorial of how to fold. The original one before I let me get to the of the original one before we before I did these upgrades. Either and now this this step is optional. And this is not going to be very easy. It's going to be kind of hard, but not. And again, this step is optional. It will just help with locking these things. And also with the center of gravity, but it's optional. What you're going to do is you're just going to open this pocket and fold this a little bit. This thing up a little bit. Until the edge, so... So you can lock it. You can also recrease it after that. So all you do is right here, you just put it like this in an opening position to a not opening position. And the same thing on the other side. And again, it's optional. There you go, now do it. And now these will be locked, kind of. And again, just this edge to this edge. And that again locks up. And now for the planes lock. This plane, this lock is not very easy and not very hard. So here's the depth. Okay, that's actually really deep. Never mind. You want to make it half of the depth. So this is the whole depth, uh, all the whole pocket until that part until these parts. Right. So you're just gonna fold the crease. But that's not the one you want. That's not what you want. You want half of that. So you're just gonna put your finger right there and then pull this. Like just like pinch it in that point right there. And this again, let's see. and this is also very high, so we're going to make half of that as well. So, half of that. And now since we make half of that, we can slowly drag this a little bit, Only, but, not, but do not pass the second crease, you just want to a little bit and then you can fold it in half and then now fold the wings it's all thick thick so you want to start a little bit above the nose and then slope around this much down all right so that like this much and this should be one inch flip it over it's too thick 
and if the pockets if you went um in this if the joint or this corner is like above the wing then you can unfold the wing and then match the crease on the other side because it might rip and this will prevent it from ripping Unfold it. No, actually, don't unfold it. Just do like this, and then. And now you have both wings folded, and now folding the legs. Make it parallel to this edge. Make it parallel to this edge. So this much. I make sure the corner lines on this side right here. And I kind of passed it and that's it. Flip it over. And here's the hard step. If you went never mind, I just ripped it. I kind of ripped my uh thing, so now I don't have to worry about that. So now the hard thing is to actually match it up. If if it's like exactly through that corner that is the hard step so you can fold it in half but you will rip it then you will you try to rip it even more right now but good thing it's still kind of fox i think together and i'll match it up or if you do not want to rip your plane you could have just, uh, okay. you could have just estimated if it was the same size. And that, and this, uh, here's the thing. Now, put tape on these layers if you do not uh, make the center of gravity forward on the optional step. But if you did the no tape, then you might need to put an upper later on this plane. Have good luck flying, and bye!